this is the TSSG at WIT in Waterford. It's where Cognet is based, the only Irish-led project in Europe to get funding to help develop 5G. They'll be working with 14 other groups across the EU. Robert and Stephen have a highly motivated team and more to join them on looking at what will the future be for mobile devices. You might have ever heard the term Internet of Things. This refers to a kind of a, a, a time in the future where it's not only smartphones are connected to the network, but practically everything you have, your watch, your TV, your car, your refrigerator. Um, so there'll be vastly more uh, devices connected to the Internet in the future than current uh, technology allows. Uh, the, the scale of the network will be so large that it won't be manageable using current technologies. Yeah, it is. It, it really is. It's really putting us on the map uh, in Europe. Uh, nationally, we have a really good reputation in our expertise and we have a big, um, re really intensive uh, software defined network and testbed here and research strategy here. Uh, but this, this new project and the new role that I have is really putting us in contact with the likes of Telefonica, Deutsche Telekom, Telecom Italia, some of the big, big players in Europe that are really looking at how are they going to uh, scale and grow their networks in the future. In the corner of the room here, there's a small collection of devices from the past. It's amazing how quickly technology has moved on in even just the last decade. So th this was the wireless card actually, so if you wanted well, they didn't really have internet, but if you wanted email on your phone, you needed an external wireless card to plug into the phone. Yeah. This was also <laughs> considered very cool. It's like a, uh, kind of a mini monitor, but it's standing and everything on it. Yeah. While nobody knows what 5G is going to look like, it could provide broadband speeds of one gigabyte a second and will also greatly increase the battery life on mobile phones. Damien Tiernan, RT News, Waterford.